Hi Peach, welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to be doing um, some some slideshows. I've done slideshows in the past and they've been shit, but today I'm going to talk about what I'm actually doing. Um, the reason I'm doing a slideshow rather than a uh, normal video is two reasons. One, I still haven't set my workshop up properly, and two, I've got shitloads of old pictures that, you know, I can, I can show you what I'm doing. Um, so today's video is basically, um, it's a wheel arch modification on a Mark II Golf. Um, standard Volkswagen, you know, it's been slammed on its ass, and all it's got plastic arches over the top, but somebody just cut, cut around the lip, made an absolute mess of it. So these are a few pictures of, you know, brand spanking new wing. I had to fettle the wing to, to get it to fit properly because it was a cheap wing, and then I completely remade a new lip for the plastic arches to sit over. So, let's get into it. Okay, um, this is pretty much how we got the car in. As you can see, I've already took the, the bumper off. Like I was saying earlier, it has been lowered quite extensively, and you know the wheel is right, right tucked up under that that plastic arch there. If you look here, you can see where somebody really has just sort of hacked at it. You know, there's no finesse involved. That they really haven't haven't cared at all. Um, but you can sort of see how low it is, and th this was actually rubbing slightly as well. Um, you can see here again, you know, no finesse. It genuinely looks like somebody just attacked it with, with like a chainsaw or something stupid. So, got the wing on. Um, I, I'm not going to show you the sort of fettling process because you know I want to I want to stick stick to the basics in this video, just sort of how to flare an arch. Um, what you do want to do is when you're doing anything like this. You know, make sure your wing is fitted where it's supposed to be. Get all your fettling done and make sure it's solid. Um, that way, it's just not going to move, basically. So I offered up the, the plastic arch, and here you really can see how much we need to take out. OK, so we start off by panel beating the edges round. Um, in my case, I needed to keep the bottom edges uh, as, as they're supposed to be, like in the original position. But then the rest of it was going to start tapering out and then going so the clearance was all at the top. Um, I can't remember the exact measurements of what I had but I think I took it up maybe maybe four inch or so then I then I sort of uh, beat the edges round. Uh, you, you need to do this so then when once you've cut it out and then you're putting the lip back in the lip meets up with the original fold so then you get a nice consistent line all the way through. Once you've got that done uh, you want to tape it all up always use masking tape because that way you've got a nice uh, visible line to work with. You try and sort of scribe onto bare metal or even the paintwork. With the paint you've got the potential of it chipping off and then not having a, a decent line and then you know if you, you're scratching onto bare metal you catch it in the wrong light you can't always see it. Especially when you've got a grinder with shadows and everything else. So I always use masking tape and a nice clear visible pencil or a pen. In this case, I used uh, a bit of wire. I think it's fencing wire, but it's just what we had lying around. Um, you could use welding wire or anything else. The reason you want to use a wire or something that holds its shape is for repeatability. Unless you're taking hundreds and hundreds of measure measurements, or you're sticking with the original lines of of the actual original arch, you know you you want to be able to get it uniform both sides. So this is why I used the wire. It, it was a lot simpler to then, you know, once I've, as you can see, I clamped it on, I could easily just transfer it straight to the other side. I know I've got the same lines. Um, I did measure down from the, the mounting holes for the plastic arch, so I knew where to position it. And then the edges, sort of as, as it's come round, it's just, it just follows the line down to the original bottom points. As you can see here, like, like I was talking about earlier, an absolutely beautiful clean line. You know you can see it, you know you're cutting on point. Here I've cut it out. I haven't cut all the way to the line yet because you'll never be able to do that with a cutting wheel. I've gone pretty close to the line, but you know, not quite all the way. And I've just finished it all up with a flap disc, you know, getting it to that line. So you've got a nice crisp line there. Um, here you can see it, I've taken the tape off. Nice clean line all the way around. Now we want to go ahead, clean all the paint off, because what will happen is when you're uh, putting the return lip back in, you know, sometimes the, the paint can chip off. The way I put in the return lip is basically I just use uh, a 10mm uh, round bar with a small slit in it at the top. The slit wants to be about 10-15mm um, to 15 mil deep, 
you don't want to go too much because the, the metal that you're trying to bend will not stretch and you'll end up deforming the panel. If you stick to the 10 15 mil, the metal will shrink and stretch as, as you're going round and then you'll have a nice clean line going all the way around. So here you can just about see you know, that the line's just coming in. This is a slow process. You want to sort of, I mean, I, I think I did about 40 passes on this going all the way around. Um, and it is just a slow process going around the edge little bit by little bit putting that edge in you can see here you know I've, I've finally got that the line in nice and crisp and then it is just a, a matter of again just repeat and repeat and repeat it doesn't actually take that long to do it you know I think it probably takes it took me about an hour and a half I would have thought to go over the whole lot but again just do it slowly take your time and then here we have it you know the the, uh, the completed arch um, th this was just finished off with with the bar um, I did go around it afterwards with uh, hammer and dolly and just just neaten up any little bits that weren't quite right and then here you go you can see you know a nice clean you know I mean I'd say almost factory apart from the fact it's a weird shape and then here we have it all nice and painted Again, it's a weird shape, but if I'd have followed the line all the way around and had a consistent line, I think that would have looked, looked the absolute mutts nuts. Okay, so as you can see, the, the process is fairly straightforward. You know, just take your time, you know, go through it methodically. Don't, worst thing you can do with, like, with stuff like this is rush. Um, if you like what I'm doing, you know, please give us a thumbs up. You know, drop, drop a comment uh, down below if you have any questions. Also, you know, I've got a Patreon page, you know, if you, if you really like what I'm doing, please consider heading over there and supporting us. You know, every little helps to sort of make better contents for yourself. Um, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, the links are going to be at the end. Um, they're also down in the description. So, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Cheers.